Solar's bed chairs and sleep systems are quite often regarded as best in class. And six years ago, they released the game-changing SP SeaTech bed chairs and sleep systems. Well, now they are back with a Mark II and its memory foam. You know it's gonna be a good one when it's part of the SP SeaTech range. So let's jump straight into it. And I'm gonna tell you five things you need to know about this new Mark II. <laughs> Now apparently a weight rating of 210 kilos just wasn't enough on the original so Solar have upped this and it now has a weight rating of 225 kilos. That is thanks to a few reasons one of which is the new reinforced tubular frame design. That in conjunction with oval legs which give increased strength and stability really makes this a winning combination. Now if a 26 stone man trampolining on the original version isn't enough to go on I'd hate to think what could happen on this bed chair. But in fairness to Solar, they did say I am more than welcome to use it as a trampoline. Now, I don't know what they're trying to say with that, but maybe later in the video, I'll give that a try. It's not all just about weight tolerance. I think by upping this rating, it's Solar just flexing a little bit to show this is what we can do and our stuff really is built to last. Sticking with the frame though, it's worth mentioning that the mattress is actually built into the frame. Now this offers lay flat lumbar support and of course increased strength thanks to its four load bearing sides. Most manufacturers only create bed chairs with two load bearing sides. So once again, it's brownie points going to solar. <music> Practicality is a big thing when it comes to bed chairs and sleep systems because they need to have the features that you want and you need. Luckily, this SeaTech Mark II does. As you'd expect, each of the legs has got Solar's spring lock one-touch mechanism installed into it. Now, we've seen this on quite a few chairs in the past from Solar because it just works. It's nice and simple to get things nice and level. We've all been there before around the back of a bed chair against the back of a bivvy, trying to lean down and level things out. It can be a nightmare, but obviously, thanks to Solar's one-touch system, it is nice and simple. Duvet wise, you'll be pleased to know we've got Solar's easy slide zips installed throughout the whole system. So it's nice and easy. If you do get a bite in the middle of the night, you can simply rip off the bag and then that is just going to slide down. There's no chance of getting all caught up in the bag and getting all snagged and not actually getting to your rod on time. But packing away is nice and simple too. And that is thanks to Solar's flat pack hinge system. Now it doesn't really matter within reason what you've got on your bed because of the hinge system, everything is going to pack nice and flat. So it's nice and easy to transport around on your barrow, nice and easy to load neatly into your car or your Van. It's a real game changer that hinge system. So, yeah, top mark solar on that one as well. But once it is folded, there's also a couple of pack away compression straps. So, giving it a little bit of knee action, you can really tighten this down. Like I say, make it as flat as possible to make it as practical as possible. Once you've got everything packed down as nice and flat, nice and neat, you also find a couple of carry handles attached to the sleep system luckily in relevant places. So it's now nice and easy to chuck it onto your barrow or to move it from your barrow to your car or whatever you need to do with it. There's something nice when you know that your sleep system is just as comfy, if not comfier, than your bed at home. And this one definitely is. So they have put a six centimeter slab of memory foam into this mattress, which is designed to give you the comfiest night's sleep on the bank. Now it's a high quality memory foam and that six centimeters is actually the thickest bit of memory foam on any bed chair on the market at the point of filming this. Most manufacturers use five as their top wax. So Solar have thought, no, we do things bigger and better. So it is nice and comfortable. I found this even today, having it out just for the day, it is super comfortable and I don't really want to give it back. But of course, a sleep system needs to be nice and warm as well. It's not all about comfort, but this definitely is warm. This is a five season system and that is split into two layers. So you've got a three season layer and a two season layer. The three season is ideal for spring and autumn. The two season is ideal for summer if you're using it on its own, or it can be used as a topper in winter to give you the full five season system. And then of course, both of these layers do have nice thick baffles. These work in a couple of ways. They stop any big drafts getting in, but they also stop your zips snagging against the actual material. So they work in two different ways, but mainly it keeps you nice and tasty. <laughs> Now material wise, of course, we have already talked about the strength of the frame, but just as a quick side note, it is made from a high tensile aluminium. But moving on to the actual material of the bag, this is made from Solar's ever popular Solar Tex D material. And this material actually boasts an impressive 20,000 millimeter hydrostatic head. Now to put that into context, that's more waterproof than a lot of bivvies on the market. Do we even need bivvies anymore? And then this is finished in Solar's equally popular solar cam digital camo material which is a bit of a statement but it's a good statement at that i know i must admit when i went to pick it up from solar hq seeing it out of context 
I thought that's not going to blend in very well on the bank. But bringing it here, getting all the B-roll, doing a bit of filming on it, I was actually very impressed how camouflaged it actually is against this kind of muddy wood chip swim that I'm currently in. It's different, it's new, it's, it's a new style of camo, but it looks really nice. Now there are two different versions of this bed chair available. You've got the standard one and you've got a wide one. Now the standard and wide do share similar dimensions in the fact you have got 208 centimetres long by 40 centimetres high, which can be raised to 52. Obviously the difference is the actual width of it with the standard being 89 centimetres and the wide being 100. Weight wise, of course, this is gonna be a fairly heavy system because you've got the extra thick foam, you've got the strengthened frame, and you've also got the five season bag. But the standard comes in at 19.4 kilos, with the wide obviously being that bit heavier at 20.8 kilos. So overall, was it worth the six year wait? Of course it was.